This is Renee Collins from My Adventures in Positive Space. Today I'm going to share a video tutorial with you and we will be making these koi fish out of Model Magic. Model Magic is a great product if you don't have a kiln and ceramics available to you in the art room. And it's also just a great product to have an alternative material when you're making 3D projects with the kids. So here we go. I hope you enjoy it. To begin creating my Model Magic koi fish, I started with a styrofoam craft ball for support. These are the 3 inch size and you need to cut them in half. You can use a craft knife or one of my favorite non-art room tools is a pastry cutter. It's also great for cutting up pieces of model magic because when you pull it apart it's difficult to get consistently sized pieces. The process for building the fish has a lot of rolling pieces into a ball or coil and flattening them like a pancake. Here's the first one. Once you have that pancake shape, you place it on top of the round side of the styrofoam and gently flatten it around the entire shape. The next piece I tell the kids will shape like an ice cream cone. So basically, you're quickly forming a large coil with firmer pressure on one side. Then the larger side gets attached to the head, so it's like placing a scoop of ice cream onto the cone. And just press firmly along the edges. The kids can position the head and body to make it look like it's swimming. Add a tail to the fish with a small, thick coil flattened and stretched into a boomerang or heart shape. The tail edges can be pointy or rounded. I like to attach it underneath the body. Then two more small balls of clay, flattened and pinched on one side to make a teardrop shape. These are the side fins. The points are attached on either side of the body. You can do a quick check to make sure they are about the same size. For the dorsal fin, create a small piece about the size and shape of an apple slice to add to the top. Here's where I set out trays with small pieces of red, yellow, black, and white model magic, and some popsicle sticks for later on. Then I demonstrate how we can mix more colors with our hands, like orange, tints and shades of any color, and gray. Now the black model magic actually has a blue base, so the kids may mix some pieces of greenish or purplish looking material, but overall they will have a nice palette of koi fish colors. And when we use them, very small amounts are needed. So tables of students can be color mixing teams, with each child mixing a different color and returning it to the tray for everyone to share. To add color to the surface of the fish, you roll small pieces of model magic into balls, from the size of a pea and up, and make them the flattest pancakes possible. These pancakes shouldn't be perfectly round, so you can encourage your students to make them into organic shapes. Also, feel free to overlap as you cover your fish. It makes for more interesting and original designs. Add a small piece of model magic to the front of the head to make the mouth protrude. And then I like to add a small coil of colored material to finish the mouth off. Then two more coils can be pressed onto either side of the mouth to create the barbels. I prefer to use black. Two small balls flattened into pancakes and attached to the sides become the eyes, with two more small balls placed in the center of each. Now our popsicle sticks come into play. Use the side of the stick to press notches into all of the fins, the tail, the side fins, and both sides of the dorsal fin to give them a lifelike texture. The round end of the stick gets pressed over the entire body of the fish to create the look of scales. Sharpie markers are perfect for marking projects with your students' names. Don't forget, you may need to hold the project upside down for the student or have them work as partners to get it done. Before the project dries, it is very flexible, so take care. After a day or two of drying time, it will harden to about the consistency of a really stale marshmallow and it'll be much more durable. So there you have it, a complete koi fish model magic sculpture. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you get a chance to try this lesson at home or in the classroom. Check out my blog post for extra tips and tricks for using Model Magic, and look for a future post where I'll show you how to turn these projects into an awesome collaborative display.